Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to show you the speed difference of T-Mobile 5G Extended and 5G Ultra um, cellular signal. And this is specifically for this T-Mobile home internet which uses both 4G and 5G signals uh, to give you uh, internet to your home. I have lots of other videos on that device itself, but I'm going to talk about, you know, they have a coverage map and they tell you if it's a 4G area, if it's a 5G area, and they've recently added a 5G extended, which is the, uh, the light pink, and then the darker pink is their 5G Ultra. Now the 5G Ultra is uh, significantly faster than the 5G extended. I won't get into the details of that. I'm just going to show you a demo of using um, my home internet right here, which I'll zoom in on this for you on the screen, but I'm in this black dot right here and I'm barely inside this void of the 5G Ultra. And in fact, they came and upgraded my, my tower several months ago and they added the 5G Ultra, but they pointed the cells, you know, so on the tower itself, they have the, the uh, antenna cells and they point them and they typically have kind of a fan pattern to them where they spray out. And I'm unlucky enough to be in a dead zone for that Ultra. So I'm gonna show you if I travel even a half mile up, which is what I'll do, I'll show you where I go on this map, and then I'm gonna bring my um, little gateway with me in my car, plug it into the car, and I'm gonna show you speed test. Now, um, there are some differences in speed depending on if you're ethernet or Wi-Fi, and if you're in 2.4 or five gigahertz, you know, I have a, my own router set up. I'm, I'm taking all that out of the loop, and what I've done just now is I ran a test here on my laptop or sorry, my computer that's plugged in by Ethernet hardwire. And then I did my tablet. All right, so my computer is 77 megabits per second download and about 20 up with a ping of 32. That's over Ethernet. Now my tablet using the five gigahertz Wi-Fi is 65 megabits per second down, 18 megabits per second up, and a ping of 45. And now my phone, I just did it. I got a 70 and a 16 and a half megabits per second upload. But I'll go ahead and do it live here for you as well. I'm on this T-Mobile um, band as the default name for this thing. And now I will go to test again. And you see in the top right, it's the Wi-Fi 6. So um, there we had a 39 ping, 13. Uh, millisecond jitter and so again I'm right about the same so for me I've had very consistent speed regardless of if I'm on Ethernet or if I'm on um, the computer uh, Wi-Fi or if I'm on a mobile device Wi-Fi and I even get the same speed when I'm on my Asus AI mesh behind it but some people have problems with it being cut down so here's my speeds at my home so now let's move um, the gateway and myself and let's go check it out just down the road a half mile. I'll show you the difference in speed here. It's it's crazy. All right, so I'm in my car and I have my gateway plugged in right there. So let me um, open the phone. I did just check and I'm verified. I'm now on N41 band for my secondary, which is the um, 5G Ultra versus the N71 band that I am at home. So let me hit record here on my screen. All right. Okay, so now I'm recording on my screen so you guys can see this. So I'm just opening up, you can see my home speed there. Let me test it again. Let's see what we get here. All right. And so this is at 9:20 at night. Um, so it's I've I've had 300 um, megabits per second here before, but this is 204 for the download. And what you'll notice here is the upload isn't that different. In fact, yeah, I guess it's a little bit faster right now. Um, but that upload is because it's using the 4G, and I'm on the same 4G tower. Uh, and about the same signal. It's a little bit better quality here, so it's a little bit faster. And this varies. Um, but so what you'll see here is, you know, a lot of people ask, oh, well, you know, where, where do you live, what town? Well, I mean, this is 
you know, this would be down the same road. Uh, you can have that big of a speed difference um, just because of the way that the cell tires are mapped. And some people have complained that the um, new T-Mobile map is not accurate. There I just proved to you it is very accurate because it's showing me I'm in a dead spot and if I drive half mile, I'm no longer in the dead spot and my speed uh, goes up by a you know order of uh, 3x or 4x um, speed. And again, like I said, I've gone to some other places around here and I've gotten 300 megabits per second download. The upload is always around uh, the same. You know, I, I think I've gotten like 35 to 40 um, at times at home even so you know that's the other thing that people don't quite understand or like about the um this cell based stuff is it does vary by time of day and even maybe time of year depending on what kind of foliage you have between you and the tower so something to keep in mind that um your mileage will vary but overall if you are on that four or uh, 5g ultra map I would definitely say that you're going to get some impressive speeds, um, especially if you have no other option like uh, any kind of fiber or uh, cable for you. So uh, give it a try and see what it does for you. Okay, so I actually drove one more spot real fast on the way back home. That was a little bit closer to the tower even still. And um, I wanted to see how fast I got in. The download got a little bit faster. I think it was 220 or something. I'll throw it up right here. Um, but the upload did improve a lot more. And, um, and both my cell metrics were better. Um, so I know, I mean, I, was, I knew where the tower was and I got closer to it. So obviously I got better signal. Um, but what's interesting is that download speed didn't get much faster. And what that tells me is that's probably a limit of my tower. And that's the other thing that people don't um, recognize is that um, your tower might have a bandwidth limitation either because of the way that it is fed with its own fiber. Sometimes it's fed with copper. Um, and sometimes I've heard, I, I don't know this for a fact, but some of them are still on the microwave system where they have those, um, you know, the microwave antennas that go tower to tower, and then it might go on another tower's fiber, um, back, uh, to the, um, um, the station. So the towers themselves can have limitations as well. And so mine's probably around that 225, maybe 250 if I got like in the perfect spot or something. But you saw my upload kept going up as it got closer. So that tells me that, you know, my upload uh, capability could be higher if I had better cell um, metric qualities for, for them. But anyways, I thought it was interesting to share with you guys to have you understand how sensitive the location can be um, on that scale. But then also I've already told you guys in some one of my uh, tips and tricks video is how sensitive it can be when you rotate that um, gateway even in the same spot and from what i found the best way to place it is the t logo on the front of the unit uh, have that pointed at the tower and then try turning it slightly to the left so that um you know it, it's pointed a little bit to the left you know so if if um if this is my tower this is the t have it lined up straight at it but then also try rotating it about 10 or 15 degrees. That's what I found is the best. I think I've seen some other users comment that as well, but it's all going to be dependent upon your exact situation. And it might vary where you have it in the house. Some people move to different places house. They'll have it sideways. They'll have it up at the ceiling down here. You know, I have a window right here, but my signal is not the best at the window. And uh, these aren't even the, the super high efficient, low E, you know, uh, reflective windows. They're just standard uh, dual pane windows. But I get better signal here in the corner behind a brick wall because that's what it does. So um, play with that and see, but good luck. If you guys uh, find out anything about uh, your signal and how you get uh, the best, you have any tips for everyone else, feel free to put them in the comments below and, uh, and share your findings. Hey everyone, I'm going to make a shameless plug here. I need more people to subscribe and like my channel because that helps my uh, videos get shown to more people and also check out my other content you know I have a lot of T-Mobile T-Mobile is like my bread and butter um, videos but I have a lot of other interests I like to share uh, between other technology with like smart home and lighting to outdoor activities like zip lines and uh, pond activities and then I have a Bobcat Toolcat and doing stuff around the farm be it uh, snow plowing digging brush cutting 
Um, you name it, I got a dirt track out back that I'm playing with go-karts and ATVs on. So um, feel free to check out the rest of my channel and, um, and see what else I have to offer. Thanks.